Hello everyone, this is Pixel Riffs. Welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. And today we're not going to spend much time at the Democratic Republic of Mushroom because I have a plan for spawn. Uh, Oviraptor has approved the site of the Decidedly Vanilla fire station, which is very safety conscious of him. Uh, so we're going to go to spawn and get started on the build. Here we are in spawn. Now, before we do anything else, I uh, want to go to the post office because Jefferson said he left me a gift there. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he's left at all, but it may be um, something for returning the materials when I accidentally caused his nether tunnel to burn down. Uh, thank you for trying to put out the fire and the supplies. Oh, incredible. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Jeff. And there's Book and Quill here as well. Let's see what this says. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I, <laughs> I lent uh, I lent Kane a fortune pickaxe not too long ago, and um, it was just an iron one, so I gave it to him. But I have a mushroom chopper. <laughs> that that is that is the best. Thank you so much, Jefferson. That's going to be really really cool. Uh, right. The site of the fire station is actually right down here, so uh, <laughs> I will show you the other gift that's been left for me on sp in spawn. Um, the, s the people on the server are just so cool for like leaving little stuff around for everyone. Um, but yeah, if we hop down here towards Circle Square, look at that beacon, that just looks so cool. Um, yeah, here is the site I laid out. I didn't actually do this in a video, um, as far as I can remember, but I, I laid out the site for... Uh, the fire station to be on the corner here opposite uh, Wombo's greenhouse and yeah um, I've started kind of clearing away the ground here already but I believe this is from BRAN or oh sorry from B Corp Industries uh, this is a fire station donation look at these and I'm pretty certain that all of these will have yeah fire protection fantastic work that is so cool and having them all like dyed red and yellow that that just looks fantastic I, I saw this earlier and I have big plans for the uh, the the uniforms and what we can do with those so stick around for that in the meantime let's check out this chest and he's left us some splash potions of fire resistance and a ton of water buckets that is so cool thank you so much Biran this is going to be really awesome so I'm going to get started on the build now and what I'm going to do first off is actually build a uh, a fire engine that I uh, <laughs> that I uh, knocked up in creative um, and I've got most of the materials for it here. I think I have everything, but if I cut away at any point, that's probably why, because I've forgotten something. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start by clearing this out because um, the fire station, it, the, the I don't want the build to be too tall, but the fire engine itself is actually kind of big. So I figure what I'll do is clear away this and have it kind of be in like a, a slightly downstairs um, in a kind of dip down here. Uh, so I'm just going to clear away some of this lot. I will move the armor stands and stuff out of the way in a second just so it's all cleared out. But I'll come back to you once I've prepared the area for the rest of the build. Okay, so there we go. I've evened out the floor a little bit. I kind of want to bring this in slightly just to make sure I know the boundaries I'm working with for this build. That looks even. Yeah, cool. Okay, I've... Uh, <laughs> deviated a little bit from the usual three wide roads. I've made this four wide because the fire truck itself is actually sort of an even number of blocks wide. Um, the first thing we need to do is drop down some black wool and I need item frames and chiseled stone brick. I think I need four of those for now. Okay, let's see how far apart we make these. Um, I think we want to go there. One, two, three, four, five, there. May as well drop it down a couple of torches. You can never be too careful. It's going to be one, two, three, four across the back. Wait, am I counting this right? Uh, no, it needs to be one further in, like there. Wish I had a pair of shears on me now. There we go, cool, okay. That's looking all right. And then, yep, needs to be two across the back there, like that. And then there, fantastic. Okay, now I need a ton of stone slabs. You can probably tell already those are gonna be the wheels of our fire truck. Now, uh, where did I put, there are the slabs, cool. So what we wanna do is put one of those in front of each wheel and then along the back here 
and one there. And they're going to go along the back here as well. Oh, not quite. There we go. Ah. And I'm pretty certain that is the front tidied up. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's start putting in the red wool now, because this is definitely going to be the majority of the build is going to be red wool. I know where I'm going wrong. Yeah, so it turns out we w actually want these to be there. That's looking better, that's right. Okay, uh, back to the red wall. We want some of those across there. We can take out this lot. Ah, that's what I'm doing wrong. Fantastic. There. And you'll see already this is looking a little bit like a fire truck. Um, I'm going to add in some of the details now while I'm holding these item frames. Because obviously every vehicle like this needs wheels. And the chiseled stone bricks are going to go in as kind of little triangular, not triangular, uh, diamond shaped hubcaps. Like so. Cool, there they are. Yep, this is looking pretty neat. Uh, let's grab a couple of other things out of the chest. I'm not going to be building this like a tutorial, so a lot of the time it is not going to be in any kind of distinct order. Um, and that looks kind of weird for now, but bear with me, bear with me, because I have a plan, and like all good plans, it involves levers. Um, we can stick those on here, and they close up the trap doors for us, so it looks like a nice little front on there. Um, I think I actually was right when I put the slabs underneath here before. That's it, because we need them for the footwell. In Oh, there, that's gone wrong. Uh, we need them for the footwell in the cab. Um, I decided when I was designing this that I wanted the fire engine to be something that you could get into, um, because like the most exciting part of Ever, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had this experience of like visiting a fire station and finding out about the fire service and what they do. Um, but I remember it being like such a big deal when I was younger, like being a fireman was one of those like occupations that every like child aspires to basically. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it was a school trip kind of thing that you would do. <laughs> if I can get through here. It was a school trip you would do where you went to a fire station and you got to like talk to them about fire safety and that kind of stuff, which was so cool when you're that age. And yeah, like one of the best parts was getting to actually go inside the fire engine. Um, so I figured that had to be a part of this build. So there are two ways you're going to be able to get in. You can get in through the cab and you can get in through the back and the back actually has stuff in it. So I can slab this off now. May as well take that away. We're going to be lighting up the interior, of course. Uh, let's remove that. Don't want it to be dragging on the floor. Okay, that's that fixed up. Right. I'm going to work on the sides a little bit more. Um, 
in the UK, I don't know if this happens so much in the US, but they kind of have this like line of yellow, like it's kind of high vis yellow, so you can see a fire engine coming, you know, like a lot of emergency vehicles will have that kind of like high visibility strip on them. Um, and I don't know if this is very similar to uh, the way they do things in the States, but yeah, I figured that was uh, a pretty good look for it. Okay, so this is coming together pretty well. I figure we'll probably put the glass in for the cab next. I designed the cab first when I did this in creative, so I figured that was kind of a crucial part of the build. Um, I think we need the black stained glass for either side here. Uh, let me get up there, hang on. <laughs> So black stained glass goes here and here. Make sure the cab is nice and closed up. That's cool. We want red wool to go either side of the door and over the top as well. Oh, <laughs> superb like that. Just stop taking fall damage, it's a good thing I've got feather falling boots. There we go, okay that's looking great. Now for a little bit of extra detail I'm going to add these item frames on the front like so. Stick those in the inventory, we'll be needing more of those later. Two blocks of orange stained glass, oh <laughs> but not like that. Do I have silk to art? I can use my mushroom chopper. First use of the mushroom chopper, getting rid of glass. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that took the item frame off, didn't it? Um, and let's line this up properly this time. There we go. Lovely. And those can be the headlights. Not bad. Not bad. It's looking pretty good already. Um, one thing I do not have with me, I think, is some quartz stairs. Um, I got slabs, but not stairs. And I need stairs to go on the side, so I may have to cut away so I can grab some of those but in the meantime we can use the slabs now um, and the slabs are pretty much just going to go on the sides here and you'll see why that happens in a minute there and there fantastic right so we've got the back opened up like this um, but we need to work on the rest of the cab first uh, now that needs red wool across there and there Now I remember what else I was missing. I need nether brick to go on the inside of the cab. First off, what I'll do is install a couple of buttons on either side so it's easy to get in. Like that. And like that. So, what you've got to do is hop up there, hop into the cab, and you're in. Um, and now when you're in here, you need the door handles to get out. So that's not too bad. Uh, right, I'm gonna head into the nether or somewhere I can grab some nether brick quickly and I'll be back with you in a minute. <laughs> We're back and already monsters are spawning in the fire station. We can't have this. I don't know where the area of low light is but hopefully we can eliminate it in a second. Right, yeah, I uh, managed to get into the nether. I went down to the wither walk and there was a ton of nether brick just kind of available so um, I can always smelt a bunch to replace that later. Did I have a crafting table on me? I do, fantastic. Do I need anything from in here? Don't think so. Oh, the glowstone. I will need that in a second. But first off, let's put down this crafting table. So I was going to need one of those sooner or later and can make myself some nether brick stairs. I only really need two of those and the quartz stairs I took from my own nether tunnel uh, which I still haven't finished off from the last episode but I really do need to get on with that. Uh, now we're gonna put these on here like so. And we can take the white stained glass from in here Add a couple of item frames on these. Oh, and we don't want to do it like that. I'm terrible at putting stuff in item frames today, apparently. Bam, there it is. 
wing mirror number one, wing mirror number two. Sweet. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do here. I think the zombies might have a chance to spawn in the back. So, uh, how did I do this on the original build? Oh yeah, that's right. I have glowstone in here. That's what I wanted to do with that. Keep that nice and light. And then uh, there's glass panels in the back, which I don't think I've brought with me, which was an oversight. But for now, we can fill this in like that. And hopefully the glowstone should keep the interior lit for what we want to do next. Now, if we hop in here, which is easier said than done right now. There we go. Okay. Um, so the seat is going to be two nether brick stairs like that. And yeah, we need some glass panels to go inside of here. Uh, now the last two item frames I've got with me are going there and there because I wanted there to be a dashboard um, <laughs> because I like that kind of detail in builds, especially something like this. So I've got a clock and a compass and those are going to be the speedometer and I don't know what else you have in car dashboards. You may as well just put those in there like that. And that's going to be pretty cool. It is definitely night right now. Okie doke. Uh, let me out of the cab. Foolish thing. Um, I can't remember if I did anything in the back of here. Going to have to refer to my notes again for that one. Um, this section here is a little bit controversial because it's the most expensive. Um, although iron is pretty cheap right now. But, oh, that was wrong. Yeah, thanks to Jefferson's iron farm, iron is kind of flowing from the rivers right now so I don't need to worry too much about using iron blocks for something this trivial but uh, yeah you know fire engines have that kind of shutter down the side so they can kind of keep all the equipment locked away um, that's what this is this is basically uh, basically that now I think we need to fill in the rest of this with red wool like so I'm gonna put a torch up there for now just in case it would be crazy if creepers and stuff decided to spawn on top of my fire engine um, and the last eight iron trap doors are going up there and they need redstone to keep them shut so this is where one of the clever parts comes in on the inside of the back of this compartment here which I still need to kind of finish off with the red wool so let's do that now it needs to go like this I believe I think that looks about right. Yeah, I think that should be good. Um, let's use some dirt to get up there. What we're going to do is line the roof up here with redstone. Along the sides. Like so. And then we're going to affix these trap doors to the blocks around the edge. Like that. And finally, when we hop into the back here and put these two redstone torches down, it's going to close them all off. And this is already looking pretty cool. I am happy with that. Now, where are the other glass panes? This is what we want. Because no emergency vehicle is complete without red and blue flashing lights on the top. And I don't think they even have red and blue flashing lights in the UK. So my pretense of this being a UK fire engine goes out the window at this point. But that is not to worry because I think anyone can recognise this as an emergency vehicle once it's got these on top. Yeah, and we were trying to figure out a way of making these flash earlier. But I think that would be kind of more complicated than I'm willing to put the effort in at this stage. But... There we go, this is already looking pretty nice. Now what I wanted to do with this is add in a couple of chests in the back. Um, I wanted two double chests and I will <laughs> reuse that build chest I have over there for another one. But that can go in there. I'm going to have a couple more item frames up here when I've made them and tripwire hooks so you can kind of hang uh, <laughs> like imaginary fire uniforms off the back there. Um, but last thing we want to do, I guess, is probably put in some stairs up into the back cab because obviously this, this vehicle is parked right now and you need some way of getting in, sort of getting some access. So I think that will do. 
and let's have a look at it from the front. That is looking pretty great to me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pause a second just to see if I've missed any details off that I wanted to include. So I knew I brought more quartz stairs for a reason. <laughs> In my original build, these were actually stairs and the item frames are going to pop off, which is a shame but I can collect those once I'm back in the cab, which is apparently going to be never. I think I might reverse the doors. <laughs> That's probably going to be wise. There we go, clock on there. There we go, that looks nice and shiny, I like that. I like the, the levers double as pedals on the inside as well. I think that looks pretty cool. And you can see out of the cab, just in case you need to go and respond to any emergencies. So I think that's looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty solid from where I'm standing. Um, I have a couple more details I want to add that I don't have the materials for right now, so I will do those off camera and I'll come back when we're ready to build the rest of the fire station. And then the fire station went and got itself built off camera. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I really wish I could have included more footage of the fire station actually being built. But that was all last week. And Kane logged in to help me with the build. And he pretty much did most of the structure of this. And uh, yeah, we just kind of had a lot of fun doing that. And I didn't manage to record any of it. The only footage of it I have is of Kane trying to jump from the roof onto one of the... Uh, landing pads for the fireman's poles we put in and he just landed right on top of the pole and took full damage which was really really funny at the time but so here we, here we go here's the fire station um i designed this banner um and it's essentially meant to look like water fighting a fire um and I, i'm basically trying to prove to b-ran that the brick pattern can be used for cool stuff because he doesn't like the brick pattern at all so uh yeah, I, I think that turned out quite well. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so the fire engine now kind of sits in here. Um, it's still completely operable. You can still get in to the cab from there. Um, there's a couple of things I've changed about it. I included a bit of redstone lighting, basically just so mobs wouldn't spawn on the top there because we didn't include any lighting in the roof because that's just one half slab thick. Um, but yeah, aside from that, the design is pretty much unchanged. I added some ladders to the back there. Um, the tripwire hooks and item frames are all hanging up in here, and I put the rest of b -Rand supplies in the chest. Um, the One of my favourite features about this whole place is this. Um, I discovered a redstone uh, tutorial for this, I think, on the Redstone Innovation channel. I'll link the tutorial video in the description because... I am terrible at explaining how this works, but essentially what happens is the item stand drops down into a minecart that gets dispensed and then gets carried away on a track of powered rail, and then the other one comes up the back and basically gets forced into um, an invalid space, which forces it forwards into this like display area. So if you push this button, it cycles through the available uniforms which I think is a really, really clever feature. Um, I added one myself with blue armor as well because I thought that was a kind of nice touch. Um, but yes, uniforms provided by B Corp. Uh, there's a couple of chests stashed around. There's an ender chest here because like, I like buildings to have an ender chest in because you can never find one when you need one. Um, and the crafting tables are hidden at the bottom of these fireman's poles, anvils and stuff around for decoration. There's a fire axe on the wall here because every good fire station should have one. These levers don't really do anything, but they're meant to look like the... Uh, shutter can kind of come down if you pull them like that. Um, I don't think I made any other significant changes to the fire engine other than those. Um, and there's a bucket of water here, obviously, because every fire station should have buckets of water hanging around. Now, um, if you go on up the stairs, yeah, I designed this whole wall with the windows. I was basically just going mad for any kind of like alternative window shape than just square because the rest of the building was looking kind of square. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I quite like how those turned out. Um, up here is supposed to be the kind of admin area, I guess. Um, these chests were going to be filled with paperwork and stuff like that, but I haven't really put anything in them right now. Um, my inventory is still full from this because I basically meant to record an explanation of this all week and haven't got around to it. Um, my basic idea was that this whole floor... Yeah, ignore the sound of the fire. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, my basic idea was that this whole floor was supposed to be full of exercise equipment and then the admin area would be over there. But as I've come up here every time, I've just wanted this floor space to be nice and open. So basically, I've left it to just these two structures in the corner, which are meant to be treadmills. I didn't really know what else to do with them. But uh, yeah, I thought those turned out all right. Um, and I may as well just demo this now. The fireman's pole, if you drop onto this carpet area, it's actually slime blocked underneath. So you don't take full damage. And 
Um, I actually learned that if you shift click, uh, if you sh uh, just hold shift while you're falling, you won't actually bounce if you take a slime block fall. So um, it, you can actually take fall damage just by doing that. But if you wait until after the second bounce and then hold shift, you get down pretty quickly. So you're not just bouncing in place forever. Um, and I added those chiseled stone bricks at the top there for a bit of interest. Um, the lighting is actually controllable via these switches on the back, but I I think it's best to leave them on. I haven't really worked out a place a way to light up the place that efficiently because there are still some torches around. So I might tinker with that in future. Downstairs lighting is all kind of like stuffed away in corners and hidden in pillars and stuff. Like it's not particularly concealed, but I still quite like the placement of it. I haven't really worked out a decent plan for up here yet, but there's a trapdoor here as well, so you can get behind the desk. And up here on the roof, I thought a nice kind of roof terrace thing would be kind of cool. I put in a couple of hedges and a place for the firefighters to sit down and relax. There's also this example fire, which I thought, you know, there had to be some kind of fire somewhere in the fire station, otherwise it wouldn't be a fire station. So this is an example fire, just a single piece of flaming netherrack. Um, and it's walled off so you can't like jump into it from most angles. If you wanted to jump into it from the front you couldn't because it's slabbed off there so that's fine. And here we are, the flint and steel, use it responsibly. Um, yeah this is uh, a kind of warning to everybody just to make sure they don't start any fires but if any fires appear in spawn at any point then the fire service will be here to help put them out. And last but not least, there's a bucket of water on the wall here. Um, you can actually access the top of the roof here. I think Kane put that in so he could work on it. Um, I'm going to leave the ladders there, but there's not really a great deal else up here to show off. Um, so yeah, this is the fire department. I'm really happy with how it came out. Like, a huge thanks to Kane for helping me with the build and to BRAN for providing some of the supplies. I think this turned out pretty well. And as I said, I might tinker with it a little bit more, so you'll probably see it in future just look, looking a little bit different, but uh, yeah, I'm super happy with the build, really happy with how it came out. Um, I like the fact that it's not quite symmetrical as well, like there's some stuff about it that looks slightly off, and that's because I kind of, I built the dip down to where the fire engine was going to be on a slightly like um, uneven position, um, but that I thought, I think that's fine, like I'm, I'm kind of, I'm a fan of symmetry in builds, but it's a habit I've been trying to break, and so I'm really happy with the way it turned out with this kind of like um, half saw roof thing going on. I was, I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Still got a couple of build chests here that I need to get rid of because it's got some stuff that we just dug up during the build. But uh, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you really enjoyed the tour of the fire station. And uh, leave a like in the comments and leave comments in the likes. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.